Hello my ghouls and goblins, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys where to build and where not to build, and how to build quickly. Okay, first of all, uh, as a beginner's guide uh, information, I guess I'm going to tell you guys, um, this location is like one of the best locations to build for a beginner, because there's abundant uh, life here. Over here you can fish. Um, you do not eat white berries. White ba uh, berries will kill you. If you accidentally eat one, just block it. As I'll show you now. I showed you in one of my other videos, but just in case you didn't see it or watch it. Um, as you can see, this is a stick you can pick up. You can run over here. And over here is tons of fish to catch. That's why it make this is a prime location to actually um, make a base at. Um, one thing I have to stress, um, some of you guys are wondering like, why am I being found so easily by these guys and why are they continuously assaulting me? Well you can tell if uh, their patrols is going to come through this area if you see one of these heads. If you see one of these heads, don't build your stuff here or you're going to be assaulted quite often. Uh, with this stuff on the ground here, you can put it on and it acts like a camouflage. It's pretty good stuff, but don't go through water or it takes it off. Because your character gets a nice clean bath. Do, 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 do. Um, to start my building guide, we're going to need one of these. As you can see, I just poked it and messed it up pretty good like. Well, you can pick up one of the arms. Um, the arms the only thing that I know that uh, will make it actually do this effect or whatever. But what you want to do is you're going to want to equip the arm. And anything that you walk through is going to break. Besides bigger trees. It, as you can see, I'm making a trail of destruction with this arm. I'm just walking into stuff. This is how you're going to <clears throat> really up those uh, stick numbers as you can see I've already got a full inventory because I was walking over here um, another reason why this location is a really prime location is because of this right here and as you can see all these containers well these containers have some really good stuff in it from cloth to uh, flashlights to your annoying fucking tennis ball as you can see, I can throw three at a time. That's that skill right there. But anyways, uh, um, what you're gonna want to build starting off is going to be your basic camp. I prefer this one because I think it looks neater. Easy to build. Make your little campfire. Then you're going to want to uh, build a shelter. This one's a lot more, I don't know, uh, I guess you can say it looks better. That's about the only good thing about it. Uh, as you can see, this is how we're going to, I'm going to show you how to build quickly. Just going to run through everything and tap E at the same time and you'll pick up your uh, all the stuff that you're making or destroying on the ground. And there you go. I should have enough sticks now. And another uh, quick building tip is uh, make sure you have your flashlight, I mean your cigarette lighter out. And it makes you swing a little bit faster. As you can see, my character is a lot more energetic with a swing. Make sure you're filing around the tree because if you're not, it's not really getting some of the spots. As you can see, sometimes I'm swinging and nothing's coming out. Here's another big tip. Push the tree in your direction that you want it to go. And see? Bam. That's going to save me time building right there. Because I don't have to run all the way into the forest to grab what I need. And get the trees nearest to your base. It, I mean, it really helps out. You may not notice, but for people who have like a... Uh, 
jobs and stuff that's playing this game that really want to build a lot of the content but just don't really have enough time it it saves it saves a few minutes then bam push it and as you can see it's right next to my base right right where I need it to be another little handy tip with the fire if you have the fire going and uh, you're getting attacked by people and you really don't have enough life to fight them off I don't have any stamina here <clears throat> make sure you just stand by your fire I mean it really it'll uh it'll kill them if they walk into it it's like an instant death it might take a few seconds for them to uh, set a flame you don't have to worry about them falling over and uh, getting back up or anything Um, as you can see this technique really does help my building of this structure a lot faster than BAM I've already got it built I got four logs to do whatever I need with um, let's see what else would be really essential to building okay well, let's make a log holder shouldn't be that hard you guys may not understand the the gravitude of uh, of the log holder but it does help especially once uh, the game really gets going and you can actually make tons and tons of stuff um, excitingly there's a new um, a new uh, part to the game coming out a new patch coming out should I say coming out I think in two days I think a day and 19 hours might as well be two days um, I have a few speculations on what they're going to be bringing out what content but can't really say for sure right now so uh, I really don't want to tell you guys what I think because I, I may be severely wrong um then BAM there's our little uh, log holder and you can put your logs in here Say if you want to build a, I'm, I'm not sure how it works yet, or if it's an actual functioning tool, which it don't really look like. Um, okay, maybe the log holder isn't that helpful right now. Here's another really helpful building tool. Uh, you can only find these in caves and other things like that is a noose well it's not really just a noose well for the player it is string or rope whatever you want to call it uh, this is how you're going to make your basic houseboat or um, raft I'm pretty sure is what you can create from those um, you can find them in about any cave as you can see I just ran a little bit and right here's another uh, another noose you're gonna need quite a bit of them so prepare to do some exploring whenever you're trying to find these and that one's a little bit too high up so I doubt we'll be able to get that one okay I guess you can jump and grab some of them holy shit I did not expect that to be there Damn it, I forgot about those. Oh, uh, yeah, they're beautiful. I know. Oh, God, just the way they look. Ugh, I hate spiders. <clears throat> um, this is one of your basic caverns, too. I don't think you can build inside the cavern. I'm clicking, and it's unavailable. Um you can see I just crawled right under that um, crawl out of this cave real quick and we should be right back to our location um, we're definitely going to need more body parts block that you can block about anything in this game by the way guys um, it's pretty neat um, 
another thing about this beach is uh, there's a boat. Beware of the sharks. If you get hit by the sharks one time, you will be KO'd and you will have to restart or restart from a, a checkpoint. I'm really getting aggravated because I can't sprint, so I need to get some food. This will just be uh, showing what could be in the containers. Candy bars. Candy bars are essential to a survivor's health. Cause they fill up a lot of health and they're easy to acquire. No co uh, no cooking required either. And I'm going to show you guys how to cook. You're going to have to have your, your campfire nice and lit. It's raining so it's going to be kind of difficult for me to uh, put it on there. And then you're just going to want to sit here for a while after you hit C on the fire with it in there. Um, it, sure, it should turn a different color and it should have like a Pac-Man symbol. Um, any day to now game please. I definitely appreciate it. And hopefully I don't get smacked in the ass. Did my character eat it? Okay, yeah, he, he already ate it. It's the same button as uh, as uh, kindling the fire, so you don't have to really worry about it. Um, rabbits also give a good source of meat, so you can kill them. Um, I'd probably be better off swinging at it with a, a lighter in my hand. Okay, never mind, it just fucking disappeared. Um, here, now I'm going to show you guys, uh, some basic effigies. Uh, wherever they're at, here we go. You got the head effigy, which you can set on fire. Uh, in this version of the game, the effigies don't scare off the villagers yet, but, um, uh, I'm sure it will as soon as they can. Uh, get the feature implemented into the game. You can also cook basculus or whatever you want to call them, lizards. Um, well, whatever you want to call them, I guess. Let's see if, uh, you know what, uh, let's just keep to the arm. Because we already know that it it breaks what we need here. It's one of the quickest ways to gather uh, certain items. And it really does help. This is the more advanced effigy, as you can see. Uh, heads are a little bit more harder to acquire because, well, people only get have one head per body, so get ready to kill quite a bit. As you can see, uh, this bit, this beach is kind of active with uh, enemies. They uh, they kind of show up a lot, but it's a really good start uh, starting place, especially if you're not going to be here a ton. But you need a place to go back to to maybe get a little bit of food or something like that. But uh, I guess uh, this will be the end of my quick building tutorial. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, come over to my channel and, I don't know, check out some of my other videos. Um, so please like, subscribe, and stay scary. Peace and chicken grease.